Guys, in a time that we seem to be streaming everything, what do we do with all those old DVDs that we've accumulated for a lifetime? Do we try and rip them all or do we try to just back them up or do something with them? I don't know. But whatever the choices are, guys, I've got some cool software to show you and it's coming right up. What's up YouTube? Dave here with Seeing for a Lens and thanks for stopping by the channel. We make lifestyle videos and all things tech, so if that's your kind of thing, then please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking on that bell icon so you could be notified of new videos. So guys, yes, you've got a whole room almost dedicated to DVD storage. I mean, we do, right? But what do you do with all of those discs? Do you rip them to your computer or your NAS drive to make copies or do you just keep them and let them gather dust i don't know well guys this is actually a recent dilemma that i had and fortunately video Byte reached out to me and asked me if i would review their bd dvd ripper software and you know what guys i said yes this is my answer to ripping all of these dvd discs and storing them on my nas drive now i know what you're thinking you're thinking that you know what you're looking at hundreds or maybe thousands of DVDs, which you know what? Some people do have thousands of DVDs and that's going to take forever. But you know what, guys? Once it's done, it's done. And you know what? Having some cool software to help you achieve that task is definitely going to make your life a lot easier. Now, guys, before we get into it, Video Byte did reach out to me and ask me to take a look at this cool DVD ripping software in exchange for my honest review. And you know what, guys, whatever I review, you're always going to get my honest opinion, good, bad or indifferent. So, guys, let's jump onto the computer and see this software in action. So, guys, first off, let's hop over to the Video Byte website. Now, there is a ton of useful information on here, so make sure you have a good read. Now, this software is available on both Mac and Windows, so make sure you select your platform of choice. Now, guys, you can either purchase this software now, or you can download a trial, and if you like it, you can purchase a license later. Now, point to note that the trial is going to limit whatever you can do. And if you take a look on the website, there are some discounts to be had. But by far, the best option is the single lifetime license, which has been discounted from $89.95 to $69.95 US dollars at the time of this video going out. But enough of that. Let's see this software in action. So guys, first of all, you see the interface. Now, down the left, you've got options to load a DVD or a Blu-ray disc or files or folders. Across the top, you've got the ripper option or the toolbox. Now, if I switch over to that toolbox, you've got a number of options here, including a metadata organizer, video compressor, a GIF maker, a 3D maker, and a video enhancer. Now, these all open separate windows, and I'll come back and show you an example later. Now, flicking over to the ripper option, at the top right, we can see what format we want to save our DVD file to. Now, there are a ton of video formats, audio formats, and formats that are customized for specific devices. So the sky's the limit here. I believe that there are more than 300 different formats, but you know what? You won't go too far wrong with good old H.264 MP4. This is pretty much compatible with everything. Move to the bottom of the UI and you have your destination folder, which you can change if you wish to do so. You can also set hardware acceleration to on or off. And you have a settings control where you can configure a ton of stuff, which I'm going to tell you now, like most people, I'm going to leave it the way it is. Then guys, you have a switch where you can merge several files into one, which is pretty handy. And of course, you've got the rip all button. So guys, let's load up a title and get ripping. I'm gonna load up good old Terminator 3. Now guys, once the disc is loaded and analyzed, you will get a pop-up, letting you know what the main title is and whether you want to load up the main title or you wanna load up the entire file listing. Now here you can see the full listing. It still tells me what the main title is and as well as the other titles, I can see and select the audio channels, the subtitles, and I can preview the file and edit the title. So that's pretty neat. Moving along, I can click on edit 
where I can edit a new file, change the aspect ratio, trim parts of the video, add an effect or a watermark, and I can select subtitles and audio channels. I can also rip to a DVD folder or an ISO, and I can rip everything or just my selected file. I also get some pretty neat options to upscale resolution, stabilize the video, optimize brightness and contrast, and remove video noise. Again, these are very neat functions. And you know what guys, to go through all of these functions, this video would be long. So if you'd like to see more of those functions, just leave me a note in the comments guys, and I'll be happy to walk through all of those. Now, like I said, this is a lot of features, guys but i'm going to leave everything as is and i'm going to go ahead and rip the main title to h.264 mp4 and there you have it guys your dvd converted to mp4 and quality wise you'd never notice the difference so guys there you have it this bd dvd ripper software from video byte is dead easy to use it's packed with a ton of features and with its flexible pricing options it won't break the bank if you've got any comments or questions and please leave them in the comments section below i'll leave any product descriptions and any further discounts in the description and if you'd like to see some of the other features in action like i said guys just leave me a comment. And guys, if you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. It really does make a difference. And if you'd like to see more of my content, then please subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Thanks to you guys for watching. Thanks to Video Byte for sending me this very cool software to review. I'm Dave with Scene for a Lens, and I will see you the next time. Bye for now.